Hi guys and a very warm welcome along to this video series on Curve 2 from Cable Guys. Now this is a really really nice synth with quite an ingenious design, definitely different to most other plug-in synths you'll get out there. Now at its core it's a user customizable synth in that you can draw in your own waveforms. So just by clicking points we can actually go through and build our own custom waveforms which is really really cool and powerful. Now in this first video we're going to go through the interface of the plugin so where things are. We're also going to have a look at the preset library and the way you can navigate presets. So let's dive right in. So first of all come up to this top bar up here. Let's actually just reset the preset. You can do that by pressing new and we've just got kind of plain sine wave initialized patch. Okay so let's start off looking at the interface. So first of all we have our waveform editing area here and we can actually make that full size by clicking on those little arrows there. Now in this section here we have the oscillators, three of them. So this is our oscillator section. In this section here we have our macro controls. Below it we have our two filters, filter one and filter two. Finally on this area here we have our four LFOs. We then have our envelope section down here. We also have down here some further controls for pitch bend, quality, volume and also the polyphony of the plugin. And finally our modulation matrix. Now if we click on library this whole window changes to be the preset library. So main is our synth editing area and library is our preset library and we can go through select presets from here. So we can actually access presets that have been uploaded by users and you see here it's got a little description of the preset and the author. It's got their name on there and where it's added and what type of sound it is as well. We can also search for authors, preset name. We can search through our own presets or approved presets. We can search by instrument and we can also search by rating. You can see the ratings across here. So we can go through and rate sounds. We also have access to the macro controls that you can see on the main window from here as well. Now we have kind of the useful ability to be able to just quickly flick through presets with these arrows here. And also if you see down here we have our pages so we can go forward and back through pages and also quickly jump to the last page or to the first page as well. Okay so let's go through and save our own preset. So let's just go to the library and load in a preset and we'll make a few adjustments just so it's a different sound. Now let's come up to our menu up here and we can do save. Now this is quite important. We can set a name first of all but also we can set this to be private or not. Now if it's not set to private that means we're allowing it to be uploaded into the community and used by other people. And you can read that there. It says that they can include it in the software. In the case of a melodic pattern, can't infringe copyright and it can't have an offensive name. So I'll stick with test. And I'm going to set it to private because I don't want this to be shared with the community. Click OK. And now when I go to the library, if I actually search for my presets, there's that test preset loaded in there. So you can have your own bank of presets easily accessed that way. Now something else that's important to mention here as well is that if we're on the internet, we come down to this menu here and choose sync, we can actually sync our preset library with the database online from Cable Guides and it's going to massively increase the number of presets we have. See it's working down here, downloading the library. And you can see now that our page count has greatly increased to 57. So we've got hugely increased numbers of presets to choose from. And that's all coming from the online database from Cable Guys. Okay, so that's it for our introduction to Curve 2 and also our look at the interface. Now in the next video we're going to have a look at generating our waveforms using the waveform editor.